let us worship God. God sent Christ into the world, not to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. God's love endures forever. God is our refuge and strength, a present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. Though the earth should change, though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea, though the waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble with its tumult, God's love endures forever. Let us pray. Gracious God, out of your love and mercy you breathed into dust the breath of life, creating us to serve you and neighbors. Call forth our prayers and acts of tenderness and strengthen us to face our mortality, that we may reach with confidence for your mercy. In Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Friends in Christ, every year at the time of the Christian Passover, we celebrate our redemption through the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lent is a time to prepare for this celebration and to renew our life in the Paschal mystery. We begin this holy season by acknowledging our need for repentance and for the mercy and forgiveness proclaimed in the gospel of Jesus Christ. We begin our journey to Easter with the sign of ashes. This ancient sign speaks of the frailty and uncertainty of human life and marks the penitence of this community. I invite you therefore in the name of Christ to observe a holy Lent by self-examination and penitence, by prayer and fasting, by works of love, and by reading and meditating on the word of God. Let us bow before God, our creator and redeemer, and confess our sin. Let us responsively read Psalm 51. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your loving kindness, and your great compassion blot out my offenses. Wash me through and through from my wickedness, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against you only have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight. And so you are justified when you speak and upright in your judgment. Indeed, I have been wicked from my birth, a sinner from my mother's womb. For behold, you look for, deep, for truth deep within me and will make me understand wisdom secretly. Purge me from my sin and I shall be pure. Wash me and I shall be clean indeed. Make me hear of joy and gladness that the body you have broken may rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give the joy of your saving help again and sustain me with your bountiful spirit. I shall teach your ways to the wicked and sinners shall return to you. Deliver me from death, O God, and my tongue shall sing of your righteousness, O God of my salvation. Open my lips, O Lord, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Had you desired it, I would have offered sacrifice, but you take no delight in burnt offerings. The sacrifice of God is a troubled spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, you will not despise. Let us pray. Holy and merciful God, we confess to you and to one another and to the whole communion of saints in heaven and on earth that we have sinned by our own fault in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved with our whole heart and mind and strength. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We have not forgiven others as we have been forgiven. Have mercy on us, O God. We have not listened to your call to serve as Christ served us. We have not been true to the mind of Christ. We have grieved your Holy Spirit. Have mercy on us, O God. We confess to you, O God, all our past unfaithfulness, the pride, hypocrisy, and impatience in our lives. We confess to you, O God. 
our self-indulgent appetites and ways, and our exploitation of other people. We confess to you, O God, our anger at our own frustration and our envy of those more fortunate than ourselves. We confess to you, O God, our intemperate love of worldly goods and comforts and our dishonesty in daily life and work. We confess to you, O God, our negligence in prayer and worship and our failure to commend the faith that is in us. We confess to you, O God. Accept our repentance, O God, for the wrongs we have done, for our neglect of human need and suffering and our indifference to injustice and cruelty. Accept our repentance, O God, for all false judgments, for uncharitable thoughts toward our neighbors, and for our prejudice and contempt toward those who differ from us. Accept our repentance, O God. For our waste and pollution of your creation and our lack of concern for those who come after us. Accept our repentance, O God. Restore us, O God, and let your anger depart from us. Favorably hear us, O God, for your mercy is great. Almighty God, you have created us out of the dust of the earth. May these ashes be for us a sign of our mortality and penitence, and a reminder that only by your gracious gift are we given everlasting life through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. At this time, if you're with others, or if you're by yourself, you may impose the ashes by saying, Remember that you are dust, and to dust you shall. Accomplish in us, O God, the work of your salvation, that we may show forth your glory in the world. By the cross and passion of our Savior, bring us with all your saints to the joy of Christ's resurrection. Amen. May the God of peace make you holy in every way and keep your whole being, spirit, soul, and body free from every fault, at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Go in peace and to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.